much from Canada. Welcome to our channel. Today we react to Ibari Misora again. We reacted to her the other day. She yes. was so funny. Yes. She's such a good performer. She's absolutely amazing. She's born in 37. She died in 89. She was a Japanese singer, actress, and cultural icon. Mm. She received the Medal of Honor for her contribution to the welfare of the public. And she's extremely, extremely, extremely <laughs> popular in Japan. We're gonna react to one of her songs when she was really, 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 really young. If you want to suggest us something, we have a Streamlab link in the description. Yay. For a small donation, we can do one of your suggestions. Okay, let's, let's get, get started. started. She always had a voice like that. Yeah. Since she was very young. What's going on? Oh she always God. had that voice. She never changed. Her, her kind of a baby voice really ah, never changed. And the quality of the performance too. Yes. Yeah, already like, a, you know, like joyful, like funny already. Because yeah. back then the singer were also actors and they yeah. were performing songs into their own movie yeah. all around the world yeah. in those black and white movies. People don't do that these days with the new movie in 2020. Mm. They don't do that like that. Yeah, the cabaret. Yeah, Some yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so her mom is looking for her now. Yeah. And she heard her say. Was it the police after her mom? No, I think, <laughs> I thought they were trying to, to make fun. Oh, yeah? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> released in October of the same year and in the theme song of the movie Sad Whistling oh. which 
Iban first started at age 12. At the time, it sold about 450,000 copies. The song became a success story for Ibari and became, became famous because of that song. The number of sales of the song is the 10th place in the total sale ranking of Ibari Missouri. Wow, so she became very popular because... Sing well. Yes, it's a Japanese movie directed by Yoshi Leki. Okay. Okay, Ibari, after her controversial years, she was controversial, why? Oh, people think that she was too sexual. Too well? They think that the way that she was performing was too sexual for her age. That's what they're saying. Publicity criticized for blatant erotism. She was being too sexual? Oh, the song is about altering the meaning of the lyrics about sexual love between adult and familial love between brother and sister. Oh, incest. Oh, really? She played a young war orphan. Ah, okay, okay, okay. She's an orphan. She's searching for her older brother Kenzo, a soldier. The song become a token of love between them and the mean by which they hope to find each other. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. She be she had a lot of change in the movie from war orphan to happy child in a new family and from tomboy to feminine girls. Ah, uh, okay. It's her here. Yeah. Okay, now we understand a little bit more the story. Yeah, okay. Amazing. Yeah, why Any exactly final word? So. Mm, I think, you know, at the age like that and back then, she can like do a lot of things and got like really popular and then still popular until almost like the end of her life. Yeah. <laughs> I can say that was really amazing. So we all thought it was too too erotic, but they changed the lyric of the song to match her age. That's mm. what they're saying in the Wikipedia. Yeah. So anyway, that was an amazing performance. Yeah. Very old. I don't know if it's the oldest thing we have reacted to, but it was very interesting. Yeah. If you have more suggestions like that, please let us know in the comment below. And thank you for watching. See you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh my god, look at this. This is safari. Seriously. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello, that's really messy. And this girl, she's trying to eat something. I think she's eating the grass because she wants to like to clean her stomach or something. After she eating that she's gonna puke. It's like cleaning. That's it.